Although this channel is primarily about VWs and Porsche, occasionally I'll feature a different car, such as my friend's 1971 Ford Cortina that he bought recently. Another friend owns a 1986 Ford Escort RS Turbo that he's owned for over 10 years, but it's been off the road since 2013. Cosmetically the car looked great, but underneath there was some serious rust starting to develop, as is pretty common with almost any 1980s Ford. The car had a great history with a very low number of owners. Craig decided that the way to fix it was a bare metal respray with the rust being cut out. The first job was to completely strip it down, so taking out all the interior, even down to removing things like the wiring looms, um, obviously basic things like the engine and gearbox all had to come out. Essentially, the car just became a shell and everything else was stored in the house. The loft is full of parts of the car. The suspension and wheels were left on the car so it was easier to move it. Once that was done, along with the steering wheel, we were able to get it onto a trailer. When I picked my Porsche 944 up from the body shop, the RS Turbo hitched a ride on the way there. After lots of welding and paintwork, it's come back on the trailer and is now back at home. All the trim bits that need to be refitted to the car came back in the boot of my Passat estate. It's in kit form at the moment. <laughs> Is that all the bits at the side there for it? No, Is that's it? a Puma engine and various bits. <laughs> Is this the gearbox for it? Yeah, here? that's the gearbox for it. That's all rebuilt. It's all brand new. Is that the old one? Uh, no, okay. I had two and we built a good one out of two. So what are the um, common rust areas on here? It's the battery tray, obviously just... Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's where, where it's not rusty. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Even the roof goes rusty on these. Oh yeah, we've got sunroof, <coughs> sunroof hole there as well. <clears throat> So pretty much everything is stripped out from the interior. Only thing added back in is the steering wheel so you could actually uh, manoeuvre it. Yeah, it's got a steering wheel and that's it. But no engine, no engine. There you go. But steering rack and a bonnet stay. <laughs> you see down there, we do have suspension and the steering wheel. There we are. All the oily bits of the car are stored in the garage, but things like the seats and interior are all inside. These are the Recaros, which look in excellent condition. Things like the door cards are in the loft. Once the better weather comes, the aim will be to get the car out of the garage and begin the process of reassembly. Remember to click on the subscribe button if you want to find out how that goes.